Hello and thanks for watching. I'm so glad you've joined me because today I'm going to talk about one of the best tanks of World War II, the KV-2. The KV-2 assault gun tank was developed from the KV-1 series of heavy tanks, appearing in 1939 and 1940 with the Red Army. Whereas the KV-1 series was intended to be a direct combat tank designed to tackle enemy tank systems and spearhead advances, the KV-2 was utilized more so as a close or support fire support vehicle designed to lob large caliber high explosive shells against enemy positions during such an advance. The first combat action that the KV-2 saw was in the Winter War against Finland. Here, it proved to be semi-effective, but early on, problems had arisen. Possibly the most notable action of any KV-2 tank was at the Battle of Rossinia, in which it saw a single KV-2 hold up the entirety of the 6th Panzer Division. The KV-2 had destroyed about two dozen tanks by the end of the engagement. A limited set of early KV-2 vehicles were fitted with 122mm M1938 L22-7 howitzers, but this would eventually be upgunned to become the more noted 152mm M1938 L24-3 caliber weapon. The 152 gun became the largest caliber weapon that was ever fitted to a serial production tank. In either case, the armament required a large powered turret structure for which the crew could manage its functions and recoil while in relative safety from battlefield dangers and elements. Soviet engineers created a box-like 12-ton turret which sported a 360-degree traversal and some 762 millimeter of armor protection. The KV-2 was a most distinct design quite a departure from the previous and future Soviet tank offerings. Power for this monstrous beast would be supplied by a single V2K 12-cylinder diesel-fueled engine featuring 550 horsepower. The vehicle was crewed by no fewer than six personnel, which included a driver, a commander, a gunner, loaders, and machine gunners. And just like other Soviet war equipment, the German army wasn't really too shy about reconstituting captured KV-2 tanks and then redesignating them in the German nomenclature. Only a limited amount of tanks would see this fate. Many simply run down until their mechanical systems would give up the ghost. The KV-2 featured a mass of 52 tons with a crew of six and an elevation of about 37 degrees. Its main armament in the end featured a 152mm M10T howitzer, and of its engine, it was one V2K12 cylinder diesel featuring 550 horsepower with an operational range of 140 kilometers and a max speed of 28 kilometers per hour. What do you think about this beast? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on, and I'll see you next time.